information in writing. Meanwhile, Global Affairs Canada is withdrawing family members of its diplomatic staff in Ukraine, citing the Russian military buildup. The department is also advising all other Canadians in the country to leave. Quebec will slowly begin to ease public health restrictions beginning next Monday. Premier Francois Legault says that's because hospitalizations due to COVID-19 are down this week compared to last week. Private gatherings will be allowed up to four people or two family bubbles. Restaurants will be open to open their dining rooms at 50% capacity. Four people maximum or two family bubbles per table with the vaccination passport. Students will once again be allowed to participate in extracurricular activities. Residents in long-term care will also be allowed to sit at a table for four and from two separate family bubbles. And more restrictions will be eased on February 7th. Data shows hospitalizations will likely drop by another 700 by then to about 2,300. Students in Newfoundland and Labrador were back in the classroom today for the first time this year. The province says with high vaccination rates, it was time to resume in-person learning. Chris O'Neill Yates reports. I just felt completely devastated. The decision to open schools today shocked Karen White. Her five-year-old daughter suffers from a respiratory illness. She's not sending her back to school because she doesn't think it's safe. A majority of the K-12 kids can't even be vaccinated with their second vaccine yet. The uncertainty is heavy. Trent Langdon is president of the province's Teachers Association. In a survey of 4,700 members, 89% said they felt protocols such as masking and cohorting don't offer enough protection from COVID-19. So on paper, yes, fair enough, all of these uh, protocols are going to be in place, but actually implementing them in the school system is... is, is